Alright, what's going up guys? It is your boy Clutch for Days. I'm bringing back another video for uh, kind of like a review from the Raiders and Titans game. I know I'm a couple days late, but um, I had a bunch of stuff I had to uh, deal with, so pardon me for that. And I know I missed the week 3 picks, but week 4 picks this week, I'll have them up, if not today, probably tomorrow. So um, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, today, um, yeah man, just wanted to review, recap Oakland Raiders game. Um, from from Sunday, this past Sunday, week three that we had against the Titans, um, we want to go over a few stats, kind of like um, some team stats, uh, like how our defense went, how our offense went, stuff like that. So um, yeah, we ended up winning, um, freaking 17 to 10. That was the final score. Uh, in the first half, man, we we're looking so nice, man. We um, we. In the first half, the score was 17 to three at the end of the first half. Obviously, um, we got kind of um, freaking jigged on. Uh, <laughs> Reggie Nelson got an interception, so that was nice to see. And then he was running it back, and then when he was running it back, he um, the clock I guess didn't start, and they they said by the time he was out of bounds that at the time there, there should have been no time left. So Janikowski, which he did um, break the break the record for most 50 yardage. So shout out to Janikowski for doing that. That that's something I really want to see, and I'm happy for him. Um, and I'm glad to see that he still can kick very long field goals. I mean, the field goal that he kicked, the 52-yarder, it was like perfect right on. So that's a good confidence to see that he hasn't missed one yet. And um, so, yeah, that was good to see. Um, so 17-3 at the end of the first half. But then the second half, our offense kind of slowed down. And our defense started letting up a lot. Um, I don't really uh, – I, I didn't really get that, like – um, so far in the season, we've been more of a second half kind of team, but this season, I mean this game, um, we are more of a first half and not as much as the second half because we didn't score anything on offense in the second half. And then uh, Carr got picked um, late in the late in like the fourth quarter, so that kind of sucked because I did want to have no turn no turnovers. Um, in three weeks so that would have been nice but I'm glad he just uh, it wasn't even his fault really um, but uh, it's just a freaking tip ball so nothing nothing really you could do about that but uh, but yeah I'm glad like that monkey's off his shoulder and now he can just rip it even more because um, I, I, I'm i thinking maybe that he was trying to not to get an interception because who does you know but um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad that monkey's off my shoulder because now I can, and now if he gets intercepted, I won't really care as much. But um, unless it's like freaking deep in the game, you know. But um, but yeah, as far as as far as their card goes, 250 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He had an okay game. Um, he was averaging like what three touchdowns a game, and um, like I said, like in the second half, I don't know what happened. Like the offense just slowed down. I do love our running backs. Um, like the the substitution that we're doing with our running backs is so nice, man. Like DeAndre's doing it. Freaking Jalen Richard. Freaking uh, Latavius Murray. Latavius Murray is running really hard. I'm 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 glad that he's doing that. Um, I am kind of questioning why he isn't getting more more touches than he usually does um i understand they want to have that rotation but uh, i mean latarius murray is running nice you know like if if it's during a game where it's like uh, we're driving down I, I i would like to see latarius murray stay in there you know like because he's he's pounding it hard and deandre washington man he he's a speedster so um so yeah, man, that, that's what I like about this offense. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like this like triple freaking rotation running back kind of thing, but I'm glad it's working out for us. We have we have a really nice running game now. Like, this is what we needed last year because nobody was running besides Latavius Murray, even though he was running hard. When he would go out, we would have no running game, you know. So um, so yeah, Latavius Murray had a nice game. DeAndre had a nice game. J um, Jalen Rashard had a nice game. And then, uh, oh man, th this was kind of the stinger from yesterday, which, um, what kind of sucked for me personally, because that, uh, man, he was, he, he's been through the tough times, you know, and he was going to be with us through the, through the good times, hopefully this year, but, um, yeah, we, we released Marcel Reese, 
unfortunately. Um, I do kind of like Jermaine Zalawale. I just don't, like for goal line, yeah, I do like him, but for like passing wise, I don't, I don't think he's a better pass catcher than, um, than Marcel Reese, and he's not as quick. He's just really big, but I do understand the business side, like, Maybe it was part of the freaking suspension kind of thing, but who knows. Um, I just don't get why you would wait like three games to when he's available and then cut him, you know. Might as well just have done it in the offseason, but who knows, man. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, Amari um, Cooper didn't catch as much ball as I would like to see him, but um, freaking uh, Michael Crabtree was doing his thing. I think he caught like around like eight balls for like a hundred yards or something like that so yeah man Michael, Tra Ma Michael Crabtree is really showing his consistency and I'm glad to see that I'm glad he's not falling off like he uh, like um, a lot of people were predicting him to do from last year you know they thought last year was just like a fluke but I'm glad to see him like you know he's still, he's a hell of a pass, ca uh, pass catcher so so yeah man I'm glad to see that from Crabtree um, we have a nice offense. Defense gave up like almost 400 yards. Um, they definitely played uh, way better than than last week. Finally got some turnovers, got a few more sacks. But I mean, um, still 400 yards. That's still a lot, you know. Especially to the tight ends who only scored 10 points to allow 400 yards, um, close to 400 yards. That's that's still something we need to clean up. Um, but yeah, man, I'm glad we got the win. Barely got the win. I was scared at the end when freaking Andre Johnson caught that pass, and and then we got lucky. And uh, it, that was a that was a pass interference on him. So that's a good call by the refs. Um, yeah, and another thing, man, penalties, man. We lead the league in penalties again this year. I know it's just week three, but those things need to get cleaned up so much. We got a freaking touchdown. Derek Carr threw a pass touchdown to um, to Clive Walford. Um, it was like a 40 or 35 yard pass, and it got nullified because of uh, Donald Penn, who, who I mean, he usually is the one that that costs us a lot of a lot of you know like completions or like passing touchdowns, um, but. Um, but he's a good, he's a good, besides that, like, he's a good uh, blocker. So, um, so yeah, man, our offensive line is looking good. Yeah, they get a few flags here and then, but for the most part, they're, they're really, really good, you know. Um, so, yeah, man, I love the offense. Defense still needs to get cleaned up. This is a positive sign, though, that they're, that they're uh, moving in the right direction. Khalil Mack, man. I really want him to get a sack, man. I really want him to get a sack so bad. Let's just go, because I feel like that'll get him going. You know, once he gets his first, he'll he'll start feeling it more. And he just needs to get, create maybe a new move. He only has like maybe two moves, and I think they're starting to catch up on him. And I don't want the doubters to start coming out. Oh, he's not as good as everybody thought he was, which he is. It's just that, man. I feel like. They're, they're 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 game planning a lot more than they did last year because like I said last year They didn't think he was gonna be as much as he was the previous year his rookie year when he only had like four sacks So man, he needs to get that quick man But yeah, man now looking ahead week four Who this is gonna be a big one against three and oh Ravens at Baltimore I don't think they can put as much points as us, but their defense is is statistically a little bit better than ours, and they got a few guys over there like Terrell Suggs, C.J. Mosley, you know, freaking Elvis Dumerville. I'm not sure if he's playing today, but let me, uh, I mean today next week. But let me know um, if he is, and I'll have to look that up. But yeah, man, week four, this is a big one, man. We need to go 3-1 because after that we got San Diego at Oakland. I feel like we can take that easily, you know. San Diego is not looking that nice and it's at home. Um, divisional. And we've swept them last year. So I think I think we can I think we can beat them this year. And that would be big. Because I don't want to start 2-2 two and two again. We need this win. I want to be able to go 3-1. You know, this is the game if, if we're for real, for real. We should, we could win this game. We we've been playing way better on the road than we have in the in the freaking um, at home. I know we only had one game, but but man, this would be huge. Three and one, and then we would go back 
to Oakland with grass field now because the A's season is pretty much over. Um, so yeah, man. This is a big one for us. I'm glad we got the win, 2-1, and one, but we need to keep this up, you know. Um, yeah, man. Ray Nation, let's go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, man.